three calls up. That five minute does look good for upside on spy. Watch the test spy on spy. 423 with the 423 calls at the 423 break on spy with the 423. It gets above that eye day, bro. I'm in these. Stop loss is gonna be tight. It's gonna be like 8%. If it's gonna go, it's gonna go in this candle. Yo, they're stuck in these 90s. Gotta go blow that 423 and hold. New high. Bro, there's nothing. Oh, whoa. There it goes. Yes, sir. Keep going, though. 30% <laughs> pop like that. Let's go, spy. Keep pushing. Nice, spy. Love you, dude. Happy Friday, baby. Come on. Break the 40s. Push the forties, come on. There we go, it's about to push the forties. Trying so hard. Oh, forties break. I am out to seventeen percent. Patience pays one for one on the day, baby. One for one on the day. Let me get some reactions for YouTube. Plus seventeen percent. Full in, full out. Took so long, but patience pays. Let's go. This week has been amazing. I'm probably not going to be here on Monday because it's a bank holiday. And, you know, this week has been such a good week. And that is how you end off the first week of October. Such a nice week. I'm going to go over the spy trade that we took on the day. Literally waited all day for this. Like, this is literally a perfect example of waiting for the best moment to strike. We were looking at NVIDIA. We were looking at Tesla. Again, if my levels don't hit, we don't take it, right? We leave the rest and wait for the best. We were looking at this 440. As you guys seen, it never hit. We were looking at this 445. Why? Because it was reacting right there in the morning. We were looking at that 445, came back down. And then this was just way too slow for me to take that. So we just were not able to take that on NVIDIA. So then we waited on Tesla. So now we're switching over to Tesla, looking at Tesla. Again, same thing here, 255. Or we were looking at that 250. As you guys seen, it was 65 cents away, but never broke 250. And what you guys notice is we broke this after we took the SPY trade, right? So 250 wasn't close just yet. We were looking at SPY. Why were we looking at SPY? Because we were looking at that 420 or we were looking at that 423. Why 423? Because you guys see the high of day is 423. Looks like a nice reaction there. This definitely has room to come right back up. And we start reacting right at that 423 area. Nice, you know, nice pullback. People are taking profits right here. This was looking like a perfect move to the upside. So that's exactly what I took. You know, we had this nice move, people taking profits, and then a continuation. We got it in that 423. We had to wait a couple seconds, and then we absolutely started moving. I waited for the 40s to break to be fully out. And then that's when I was fully out on SPY at that 423.40. Full in, full out, plus 17%. My job is not to catch the whole move, but to catch a nice piece of it. And plus 17% full in, full out was such a nice piece of it compared to my risk to reward. I would have lost 8%, so that was at least a 1-2 to two risk to reward right there. Perfect day. Great week. And now we're on to next week. Such a nice day. And I might not even be here on Monday just because it's a bank holiday and people's capital is not actually going to be settled. So it might be a little bit different in the market. Contracts might not be as liquid and stuff like that. And, you know, the market not, might not move just like that. Who knows? Or I just might just sit around and just wait, you know, for the best setup on Monday. But chances are I'm probably not going to be able to even take a trade on Monday. But that's all right. You know, I'm waiting for the best conditions in the market. And if it doesn't give me it, then I don't trade. This week has been great. I live trade every single day. Link is in the description below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.